All right, what is going on, everyone? We are going to make a beat. We're going to use Splice, and uh, I, I'm kind of feeling like a nav vibe today. We are here on Splice.com. If you want to get Splice.com, all you got to do is click below in the description, and you can download it. Uh, it's amazing. You know, basically, uh, you'll have like a, a pack. You'll go to a bunch of different... I'll show you really... Well, no, I'm not. But you'll, you, you can go and find a bunch of different packs, and... Download individual sounds, loops, as well as you can preview them. So I was just looking through a bunch of these, and uh, I found this one right here, and I downloaded it. I'll show it to you real quick. I like that one. I like this one. I like that one a lot. And I like that one. I like all those. I mean, this is it's honestly a pretty dope pack. Let me keep looking for a little minute. I like those. I'm definitely going to come back to this pack, but let's just uh, check those out. Let's open up Logic. Splice is very cool because when you download stuff from Splice, you have an application um, here down at the bottom of your screen or here at the top there's the S and then it opens this up if you want to get like a full-on oh this is something else if you want to get like a full-on tutorial on splice I have other videos on my channel where you can go check it out but this is still gonna be a really good one so we gotta just go ahead and pick one of these they're all fire I like that it's too fast let's go with this one so you do, all you have to do is boom drag it in and then what you want to do is you want to change the session so you can see right here it says 128 uh, and then here it says G natural minor okay so 128 so double click and just type 128 and hit enter and then I like to hit the little loop see what you can do is you can hit this right here and the loop pops up and you can drag it. This is the metronome. Let's hear how it sounds. Cool. So usually what I would do is I would start chopping this up and play the melodies. But I want to show you guys this other tool I have called XO Drums. This is the dopest way to program and put your drums. It's ridiculous. So you hit the plus uh, software. Exo Drums is literally incredible. Uh, my boy Corey Wallace, CW Midnight, put me onto him. But yeah, if you have it, you'll go to your instruments, XLN Audio, Exo, and open it up. Watch this. This thing is nutty, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, so I mean, you can do a lot of stuff, add in your own samples. There's a lot to happen, but we're just gonna, I'm just gonna show it to you real quick. So all of these little dots are noises. crazy bro now it's really really easy to use it um all you have to do is basically click minimal steady drive like click that and now you have a choice of all your different drum grooves i'm going to show you just like a couple like really quick so it's great you can go there's other vibes too these are all different packs and but what you can do, which is cool, is you can change the tempo. So I was feeling this dark trap one. But it says 110. But our session's in 128. Well, watch this. Pretty cool, right? Um, and then from, from here, like all these different other circles, same pattern, different sounds. So watch. I'm not gonna lie, I like this one a lot. So I'm just gonna hit the check mark. 
Now, what I can do is I can go into each individual instrument and change them if I want. So, well, let's just do that really quick. I just hit solo on the kick. I hit play. Let's hear it. That's like an 808. I like it. I don't like that kick. I like that better. That's fine. I like that better. I like that. Honestly, I like this groove a lot. So now, check this out. You hit right here. Render waves. Now we just wait. And now, we can literally drag and drop these as, as all. I'm going to show you how to do all three. So you could do the beat as a wave. It's all on one track. You could do beat as MIDI, which would be, yeah, I mean, so now this is the beat as a MIDI. Hard to explain what this is, but basically you could go in and, and, and pull up a, a thing with drums. Like, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm obviously not going to do that. Um, or you could do the stems, which is what I like to do. So I'll do create new track. What I'll do is I will do all drums. And I'll just mute that forever. And I can just, I just like to have that, that little beeping noise with some other stuff. Don't worry. So now, let's hear how this all sounds. Freaking fire. Fire, no question about it, right? So now what we're going to do is, now we'll chop up the sample. Watch this really quick, by the way. Here's what you do. Go here, you hit Command T on your keyboard. That's how you split those regions up. So you do that. Now, here's another trick I like to do. I will literally highlight all of those. I'm going to hit Command C. I'm going to hit Command V. Why do I do this? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my EXS sampler to sample. I'm going to hit edit. And if you don't have that edit tool, what you can do is you go to uh, Logic Pro X. You'll go to download additional content. No, no, no. I'm sorry. That one always, uh, I think it's preferences, advanced tools. You want to make sure everything here is checked and enable all. That's how you get that edit tool if you don't have it. So why do I have all of these extras? I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to drag all of these in here. Drag and see how that plus sign popped up? Let go. Okay. What I'm going to do is you have the option if you like, right? Like if you play this, that's great. But what you can also do is you can go here, which is, this is the same one, but reverse it. So I'm going to reverse the copied ones. So now I have a bunch of them but I have uh, versions that are basically reversed, so it gives it that extra, uh, that other vibe. So I highlighted them all. I'm gonna hit group, new group. I'm dragging all of those into that group. Let go. Now I'm gonna go up here where it says groups. I'm gonna go to ma uh, polyphony poly and hit max. What does that do? Well, if you just play them, they're all playing at the same time. They overlap each other. We don't want that. So we hit one. That way, when I play one, it uh, it'll it'll chop up, it'll stop when the next one plays. So we're gonna hit there. We're gonna save that. Um, J C and it's you can see the title right here. You call it whatever you want, but J C. I can do that. J C. P R S Pino, and it's in G minor one twenty eight. One twenty eight is the BPM. So now.
Let's just try it. So then I'm going to hit the Q on the keyboard. Watch how it moves them. They move a the little and they're quantized in place. Fire. All right, so what I'm going to do immediately, this is something I really like to do. I'm going to EQ. And I'm just going to quick EQ it. Why did I EQ it this way? Because all of this is going to be where the vocals go. All of this is kicking 808, so we don't need the sample taking that space. Now, I'm going to do a trick that I wish someone had told me years ago. I'm going to right click, bounce in place. What does that do? That takes it from individual editable notes to just a wave file, and I'm just going to go sample. Now, it's just this. It takes up less space on your computer because I can click this. This is holding on to my EXS sampler and my EQ, but guess what? Delete, delete. Later, now it takes up less CPU. Let's get it. We're going to add something else. I want to show you guys another tool. So, so far I've used Splice. Haven't played any instrument. I've used XO Drums. Haven't played any drums. Now I'm going to show you guys how to really level up your beat making game with Arcade. So I hit plus, instrument. Um, we're gonna go to output arcade, bro. If you haven't seen arcade by output, oh my god, this is one of the craziest things ever. So, this is basically it's similar to Splice, where it has all these different packs and instruments, but it's loaded up into your keyboard as samples so you can play them. Um, and you can even change this, like this is in C major, but our beat is in G minor. So, we're gonna click that. Now, everything we play is gonna be in G minor. So, let's just look through and find some, uh, some cool stuff. Oh, it's not. It's in C sharp major. Oops. C-sharp C sharp major, okay. There's a really good one. So you can go to like feed and just look at like what's new. If you want, hooked is, we're gonna use hooked, this is for vocal samples. Um, but you can also go to lines, which means it's gonna show you each individual pack. Now, for this style of beat, I like drip. Drip is very much like trap. Like it's exactly up the, uh, you know, it's up the alley that we're in. So let's hear some of these. Maybe those are Edis Fire though.
Let's go back. Hold on. I feel like that. I just used this the other day, but. So see how it's like different, like. Even go up an octave if you want. You click there, hit that, or down. Right? Right? So now. Crazy. I'm just gonna play what happens. And you could cool. I'm gonna make another beat out of this exact sound. I wanted to, I could even edit this too. You know what I mean? I can make it go longer. Let's hear how that sounds. Let's hear that. No. All right, but I'm not going to go through a whole thing of uh, arcade, but let's just record. Hold it down. Now I'm gonna just click this, hit Q. See how it's one long note? Place. Uh, I'll just literally call it pluck. Pluck. This is fire. I'm gonna pan that sample a little, pluck a little bit. Oh my gosh! Look at that. I have not saved this at all. Oh man. Um, I'm just gonna call it going off. C sharp major 128. Let's throw another arcade instrument. Let's go to distant voices.
Can I try that again? No, no, simple, simple, simple. Huh. Now let's edit this. Wait, something sounded a little bit off. See that right there? I want that to be like that. I want them snapping. Snap, snap, snap. That's so much better. That transition, we don't want that weird space. All right, now I'm gonna go into arcade and just shape it a little. You can do that. That, but we're good. A little bit of that. Dude, how fire is this beat? in place and we're just going to call it vocal chops damn dude this beats freaking fire dog damn dude this beats fire dog and now later dude I'm going to do a super quick arrangement on this um I'm just yelling out there bro Let's hear how this sounds and uh, uh, uh man. Oh shoot. Oh my god. And then all this is gonna come in. Nice. Hey man, that's it. That's how you make a beat, man. That's how you make a banger. Look at that. So you guys gotta understand something. I didn't play any instruments at all. I didn't, I didn't. Now I know how to play piano. I've been playing piano for three years, right? So I know how to play piano and I still, still use these tools to my disposal. So I didn't play any instruments. I didn't even play the drums. We used XO. So let me review everything we use. We got XO drums, right, by XLN Audio. We use Splice.com and we use Arcade by Output. Guys, spend a tiny bit of extra money and you, you will make the most fire beats in the world. Like, who couldn't rap on this? Oh man, I want to rap on this, man. But that's going to go in the new beat bundle. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. And if you want to get Splice, click below. And if you are looking to get some free beats, all you got to do is get, go to giftedstarterpack.com. Get yourself 15 free beats. All right. Thank you so much for watching and for tuning in. And I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.